All right, guys, we're back doing another weekly update. So today we have a couple things to talk about as far as custom kits go. So I'm just gonna get right into it. So this military Jeep here, I showed, I believe in last week's video that I had found one in my inventory room over there and uh, I threw it up on the website and one of you guys bought it already. I actually shouted him out on Instagram. He sent me a message and he was really excited. So shout out to you. I forgot your name, but he got the last one and I'm currently restocking these. So they should be in stock. Let's see. I want to say I ordered all the parts last week or over the weekend actually. So those should be back in stock within the next two to three weeks. My goal is to get them done before Brick Cascade, which is a Lego convention coming up here the first weekend of March. So I'm gonna try to get those done. I'm making another batch of 30 of those and uh, they sell pretty good at conventions. So I wouldn't be surprised if I come home with like 20 after Brick Cascade. So definitely I'll keep you guys posted on that, but I did want to mention that I am working on restocking more kits. So that's going back, coming back in stock. This armored car is already in stock right now if you guys want to check that out. Another thing that I'm working on is I ordered parts for another 50 of the anti-aircraft guns. So these two kits, parts have been ordered. They'll be back in stock about the same time. These might take a little bit longer because I have to do all the custom painting and whatnot. But uh, these will be back in stock within the next month for sure. So definitely look out for those. Like I said, I'll be talking about them in weekly updates leading up to then. So don't worry about that. You won't miss anything. And then just make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'll probably post about those. And then another thing is I'm probably going to be restocking or making a new vehicle. It's probably going to be either the EOD bot with the minifigure to go with it. Or let's see, where was it? I'm, I'm debating right now. I want to work on this Humvee because if you look at this, it's a pretty simple but effective Humvee and I'd really like to make this for you guys. And um, there's one piece of this that I'm not going to point out, but it's very obvious on here that I'm working on. And uh, once that's finalized and done, then I'll be more comfortable selling this. So it's kind of a matter of me getting off my butt and prototyping one of these new items. So I don't know if you guys can spot it on here. It's pretty obvious, but uh, let me know in the comments down below. But let me know what you guys think of this Humvee. It's pretty basic, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's very durable and uh, it does. It kind of rolls. I think I need to swap out the axles because right now I'm using not really an axle. It's that plate with the Technic pin on the side. That's not really a a viable option, but the doors do open and um, it looks pretty cool. You can have a guy sticking out the top and um, overall I think it looks pretty good and I think I could sell these for pretty affordable like $50 maybe. So that's kind of the goal. Let me know what you think about that. And then let's see, you know, I know I've been talking about kits a lot recently, but this one's pretty close to being finalized. So I might be working on this one more. Um, let's see here. I do need to talk to Elliot and see if he would be fine with me selling Flak 88s. I know a lot of you guys really want me to sell these because uh, I use these in D-Day and uh, a lot of you guys really like this design. So I need to talk to him more about that. And then the Warthog still has got a lot of finalizing to do. A lot of people want me to bring back the Panzer Jagger. Um, that's definitely doable. But then there's also, for example, like the Stuart tank. This is a design I bought from a buddy of mine. And um, another, oh yeah, that was the other thing, the LVTs. I used to sell those. They're still on my website, but they're marked sold out. I might be doing a batch of like 10 of those. So these are all things that I need to price out. I need to figure out, for example, like this. I built this from scratch. So I need to build this in Lego Digital Designer, get a parts list for it, and then see how much it's gonna cost me to make, and if some of these parts might not even be available on the market, so I need to double check all that type of stuff, but uh, that's something to look out for. This one, I might be able to make in tan because it's using quite a few common parts, but for now, I definitely make it in dark bluish gray, so that's just one of those things that I need to play around with as the back wheel fell off there, but that's something I've been working on, so let me know what you guys think of that. I, like I said, the wheelies Jeep and the anti-aircraft gun are definitely being restocked. Parts have been ordered. So I kind of have to play it right because it's a lot of money to buy all these parts. So I kind of have to play it right as far as, you know, restock, for example, the wheelies Jeep and the anti-aircraft gun up there. 
I have to kind of get those in stock, start selling them, and then I have some more capital to buy more parts because I don't want to just you know spend all my money on making kits for you guys because then I can't do figures and whatnot and then weapons and whatnot so I kind of have to play my cards right but I'm thinking that might be the next one so like I said I still got to finalize something on there I'm not going to tell you what it is but uh, you could probably guess so that's pretty much what I've been working on if you guys haven't seen the video of the Russian searchlight that video is out along with the video of my mock I did the other day that's pretty cool and then let's see today's Thursday so tomorrow you'll be seeing a really cool minifigure review I'm not gonna show you the figures actually over there so I don't want to point that out and then let's see a lot of you guys like the Battle of Psalm so far I'm not gonna show you too much on that but uh, we added a lot of figures and it's looking really good so far so definitely check that out I'll put all links to those in the card section up there and then another thing for my mini mock live streams if you guys want like a shout out or an advertisement I just put my logo there just because it looks cool but if you guys want some kind of advertisement like I could you know it'd probably be like three inches by five inches or something you could design whatever you want just shoot me an email and it'd be a small fee maybe like five ten dollars and uh, I'll have it on there for a couple episodes so if you guys want some advertisement I am doing that now simply because I'm doing this full thing you know YouTube I'm doing it more seriously now so that is an option for you guys so let me know and shoot me an email if you're serious about that but other than that guys that's gonna do it I've been working on a lot of cool stuff I don't want to show you it all yet but let me know what you guys think of this Humvee design. If you guys would, you know, like I said, probably $50 to $60 for that with a figure and with a machine gun on top. So let me know if that sounds doable for you guys and if you guys like the overall look of it. But other than that, guys, I'm going to end it here. Make sure you guys check out some more videos. I'll put them right here, here. And then make sure you guys subscribe by clicking this button right here. Check out the card section for all the other videos I mentioned. And uh, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. Peace out.